Good evening and welcome to Evening Prayer for Wednesday, January the 6th. Today is the day the Church celebrates the Epiphany of our Lord. Hopefully this uh, works without any problems. Uh, there might be a delay getting it uploaded uh, because the power has been going on and off all day here. Well, let's begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Christ has appeared to us. O come, let us worship him. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Joyous light of glory of the immortal Father, heavenly, holy, blessed Jesus Christ, we have come to the setting of the sun, we look to the evening light. We sing to God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy of being praised with pure voices forever. O Son of God, O giver of life, the universe proclaims your glory. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen. The Lord will arise upon you, and his glory will be seen upon you. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Nations shall come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your rising. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Worship the Lord in the splendor of holiness. My heart overflows with a pleasing theme. I address my verses to the king. My tongue is like the pen of a ready scribe. You are the most handsome of the sons of men. Grace is poured upon your lips. Therefore God has blessed you forever. Gird your sword on your thigh, O mighty one, in your splendor and majesty. In your majesty, ride out victoriously for the cause of truth and meekness and righteousness. Let your right hand teach you awesome deeds. Your arrows are sharp in the heart of the king's enemies. The peoples fall under you. Your throne, O God, is forever and ever. The scepter of your kingdom is a scepter of uprightness. You have loved righteousness and hated wickedness. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Worship the Lord in the splendor of holiness. Our New Testament reading today is from Luke's Gospel, chapter 3, beginning in verse 21. Now when all the people were baptized, and when Jesus also had been baptized and was praying, the heavens were opened, and the Holy Spirit descended on him in bodily form like a dove, and a voice came from heaven, You are my beloved Son, with you I am well pleased. Jesus, when he began his ministry, was about thirty years of age, being the son, as was supposed, of Joseph, the son of Heli, the son of Nathat, the son of Levi, the son of Melchi, the son of Janai, the son of Joseph, the son of Matthias, the son of Amos, the son of Nahum, the son of Esli, the son of Nagai, the son of Maeth, the son of Matthias, the son of Semain, the son of Jochus, the son of Joda, the son of Jonan, the son of Risa, the son of Zerubbabel, the son of Shealtiel, the son of Neri, the son of Melchi, the son of Adi, the son of Kosum, the son of Elmadam, the son of Ur, the son of Joshua, the son of Eleazar, the son of Joram, the son of Matat, the son of Levi, the son of Simeon, the son of Judah, the son of Joseph, the son of Jonam, the son of Elikim, the son of Belia, the son of Mena the son of Matthias, the son of Nathan, the son of David, the son of Jesse, the son of Obed, the son of Boaz, the son of Salah, the son of Nation, the son of Aminadab, the son of Admin, the son of Arni, the son of Herzen, the son of Perez, the son of Judah, the son of Jacob, the son of Isaac, the son of Abraham, the son of Terah, the son of Nahor, the son of Serug, the son of Ru, the son of Peleg, the son of Eber, the son of Shelah, the son of Canaan, the son of Arxhaped, the son of Shem, the son of Noah, the son of Lamech, the son of Methuselah, the son of Enoch, the son of Jared, the son of Malahilil, the son of Canaan, the son of Enos, the son of Seth, the son of Adam, the son of God. And about the epiphany of our Lord. The Feast of the Epiphany of Our Lord commemorates no event, but presents an idea that assumes concrete form only through the facts of our Lord's life. 
The idea of Epiphany is that the Christ who is born in Bethlehem is recognized by the world as God. At Christmas, God appears as man, and at Epiphany, this man appears before the world as God. That Christ became man needed no proof, but that this man, this helpless child, is God needed proof. The manifestations of the Trinity, the signs and wonders performed by this man, and all his miracles, have the purpose of proving to men that Jesus is God. Lately, especially in the Western Church, the story of the Magi has been associated with this feast day. As Gentiles who are brought to faith in Jesus Christ, the Magi represent all believers from the Gentile world. And our devotion with the Church Fathers tonight is called Joy in Your Blessings by Ephraim the Syrian. Joy in Your Blessings Those who belong to Jesus Christ have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. Galatians 5, 24, 25. Lord, said the, shed the brilliant light of your wisdom upon our darkened souls, so that we may be enlightened and serve you with renewed purity. Sunrise marks the hour for men and women to begin their toil, but prepare a dwelling in our souls for the day that will never end. Help us to know the resurrection life and let nothing distract us from the delights you offer. Teach us to find our joy in your blessings. Lord, we have your memorial inside of us, received at your spiritual table. Let us have its full reality when all things will be made new. You give us a hint of the goodness you have prepared for us when we observe your spirit working inside of us to make our souls beautiful. Savior, your crucifixion marked the end of your mortal life. Teach us to crucify ourselves and make way for our life in the spirit. Use your resurrection to make our spirits great and show us our new selves in the mirror of the sacraments. Lord, bless our souls with the spiritual vision of you and our bodies with your warmth and sweetness. The mortality lurking in our bodies spreads corruption through us. Cleanse this corruption with the healing waters of your love. Help us come to our true city and see it now in a vision, like Moses on the mountaintop. And as always, our Wednesday prayer is the shorter litany. It's particularly appropriate for a feast day like Epiphany, uh, which we will do after we join in the Apostles' Creed in the Lord's Prayer. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. O Lord, have mercy. O Christ, have mercy. O Lord, have mercy. O Christ, have mercy. God the Father in heaven, have mercy. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy. Be gracious to us, spare all the dying, from all sin, from all evil, from the devil's might, from the devil's wiles, from your wrath and from hell's torment, from sudden and evil death, good Lord, deliver them. By the mystery of your holy incarnation, by your holy nativity, by your agony and bloody sweat, by your cross and passion, by your precious death and burial, by your glorious resurrection and ascension, and by the grace of the Holy Spirit, the Comforter. Help them, good Lord. In the hour of death, on the day of judgment, help them, good Lord. We poor sinners implore you to hear us, good Lord. To comfort all the dying, to forgive them all their sins, to lead them out of this misery into eternal life, we implore you to hear us, good Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, we implore you to hear us. 
Christ, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world, have mercy. Christ, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world, have mercy. Christ, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world, grant us your peace. O Christ, hear us. O Lord, have mercy. O Christ, have mercy. O Lord, have mercy. Amen. Holy Lord God, holy and mighty God, holy and most merciful Redeemer, God eternal, leave us not to bitter death. Lord, have mercy. Holy Lord God, holy and mighty God, holy and most merciful Redeemer, God eternal, allow us not to lose hope in the face of death and hell. Lord, have mercy. Holy Lord God, holy and mighty God, holy and most merciful Redeemer, God eternal, keep us steadfast in the true faith. Lord, have mercy. Amen. O God, by the leading of a star, you made known your only begotten Son to the Gentiles. Lead us, who know you by faith, to enjoy in heaven the fullness of your divine presence. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously kept me this day. And I pray that you would forgive me all my sins where I have done wrong, and graciously keep me this night. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul, and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Good night.